Hey guys, today we are going to watch a video from Sinhar from Israel. He is one of the top Magic players. And more importantly, which I will talk about later, he has been signed up for MTG Arena, which will pay him on the average of, assuming he finishes dead middle, $260,000 a year. That is what he is going to earn. I made a video right before this video explaining why Magic Pros are no longer going to cheat because they're going to receive a lot of money and therefore they don't want any blemish. Well, apparently that was not true. The argument that did he cheat, did he not cheat, let's focus on that first and then focus on the consequences of this action or this misplay. So you watch the video. He does draw two cards. He actually draws... Uh, one off opt as well but he double draws and there is a lack there's a time lapse so if you look at Alex Puccini when he plays his explorers when you look at people who do cheat and have been caught on camera the one thing they need to do is they can't draw two cards directly in front of each other they have to do something in between and in this case he taps and sacrifices a permanent or it transforms into a land. So let's go back into why this is so important. It's the World Magic Cup. There's a lot of money at stake. A lot of money at stake. And it is easy to say, okay, well, I'll just do this cheat here. Again, it is caught on camera. And it is very obvious if you watch the video. Here we go. There is the Drake. Is it Drake's? Okay, good, good. We have card, card, one card. So he is, it puts in the bottom, draw one, and that should be his draw. He does something in between. He changes it into a land. A card is added to his hand. And now he draws again. And he draws an island. Well, that island is kind of important, isn't it? Because he wants to play out his Drake, and he has one land tapped, three lands untapped. Seems like a good play to me. I do not think he cheated here, but I really do wish the penalty was still a game loss. But the penalty for drawing extra cards just doesn't take away the extra cards. It takes away the cards in the player's hands that the opponent wants them to lose the most. There's also also always an investigation for intent and intentionally drawn cards is a DQ. So why, do, why does there need to be a game loss when cheaters still can't cheat? I think part of the reason is you're not, when you get caught cheating, it's not enough to make it even or make it slightly advantageous. You need to really punish the cheater because it's like stealing. So if you go to Walmart and you steal a pack of boot of uh, Guild, Guild of Ravnica, let's say you go to Walmart, you steal a pack of a booster pack. Walmart is not going to be, all right, pay us five times what the pack is worth. Give us $20 and we'll let you go. No, you're going to lose your freedom. You stole. So, yep. And Alex Bercini, when you look at Alex Bercini and what type of suspension he got, um, it was pretty much the same. Um, it's fascinating when you talk about uh, all the cheaters and magic and why they cheat i assume that if you gave all these pro players you give 32 of them the ability to make two hundred and sixty thousand dollars, which i'll show you the math later they would stop cheating uh, they would definitely not jeopardize that guaranteed payday for a payday here but that is incorrect is there something inherent in magic the gathering which makes people make mistakes now, many of you might say, oh, he just made a mistake. Um, but every mistake I've ever seen is, so when in real life, when you say I made a mistake, you mean it, most people mean that they have adversely affected themselves. So, and let's say that you're a payroll, you're in charge of your own payroll because you run the payroll department. If you make a mistake, and you're not very good at payroll, you shouldn't be there to begin with, but let's say that you made mistakes and it was an honest mistake, well, it should have an equal chance of going up or down your payroll. 
But if every single time you make a mistake and you pay yourself more than you're supposed to, that's embezzlement, right? So the same with real life. You do have the intent. Uh, you're looking at intent. So this is a very good, obviously this was not downvoted. This is not the top. It's fascinating when the you look at the player and based on who the player is, they get treated well or they get crucified. Here, they get treated well. But I think this is correct. He looks at his hand between between draws. Cheaters will actively find reasons to create lump sum periods of time to pass so people forget current game state or where they are at at the turn. Lots of cheaters will pause there before drawing the card because it allows a situation where in opponent's mind, there's a better chance to turn and all actions prior were forgotten. Same thing when Jared Bucelli, Bucelli would talk to you when he shuffled. It would was more or less a distraction for his cheat. It draws your attention away from the situation. So I would think that your first point plays more. I disagree. I agree. It seems very deliberate. It was very awkward the way of resolving everything. I can't wait until Digital Magic, which this guy will be paid two hundred and sixty thousand dollars a year to play. Again, we can see it. Um, there he goes. He needs a land. He needs to hit a land for his Drake. So bottom one card, not a land. So he needs for the crackling Drake, he needs to hit a land. And do two cards. Oh, there's the land that he needs. In my opinion, this is correct. He seems like he tried to hide it behind the op style play in the begin draw phase. I agree, it seems very deliberate. It was a very awkward way of resolving everything. I mean, upkeep treasure map is very common line of play, and upkeep op isn't unheard of. Maybe he just got mixed up. What's the point of upkeep op if you have no information about the top card of your deck, the chance? So in my opinion, I think it's a 50-50. Um, he doesn't have a history of cheating, which is definitely a big bonus for him. But the play itself seems like something that a cheater would be able to execute. And again, one of the things that you might ask is, a good cheater, A, would not cheat on camera, and B, he would not be caught in person. So it could be that Senhara is a very good cheater, and he just forgot not to cheat on camera. Because this cheat is incredibly elegant. That draw an extra card when you're playing opt or you're playing blue is a very common cheat since the very beginning of Magic. The very beginning of Magic, brainstorm, draw four cards instead of three cards, thanks to our friend Alex Bocchini. Here is the average amount of money that a Magic Pro will make on the new MTG Arena contract. The base salary is $70,000. The first event is a million dollars split among 32 people or 31,000 plus. There are six Pro Tour events, assuming each of them pay out a million, which we don't know what it pays out, but this is a assumption. They make this much money, and his name is on this list. You would expect him to be very well behaved, but um, you know, I'm kind of up in the air because it logically does not make sense for him to cheat at this time when there's a huge contract, a guaranteed contract for him. But then wouldn't the best cheaters like never be caught? Like when, if you were a smart cheater, wouldn't you just cheat when the cameras are not on? Doing something like what this is, is extremely dangerous because hard to catch, even if you catch them, lots of deniability, especially if you're a magic pro. Oh, I'm a pro, trust me, I know what I'm doing. I know how to sequence it. And that's my main concern here is that cheating is very few cheats are caught on camera because I assume the people cheating are smart enough or and good enough at cheaters to know they shouldn't cheat on camera. This is a base assumption, right? The cheating that really happens in volume is the cheating that happens when the camera's not turned on. So here we have Sahar Senhar from Israel and Man, this is a World Magic Cup, and bad things are happening all the time. I mean, you don't get out of one of these events without someone cheating on camera, which is 
in my opinion, the strangest thing because, again, you're on camera. Like, why would you cheat? It doesn't make any sense. Like, like you know, I assume that the best cheaters are just never caught because it is very easy to cheat in magic and never get caught. Anyway, bye, guys.